What's up guys, JR Raymond back again with BowlerX.com. I'm inside Classic Lanes in Rochester Hills, Michigan. And today, I'm gonna, we already showed you a little bit on how to increase your rev rate and hook the ball more. But now I wanna show you how you can use your hand to create different types of ball rolls to play different parts of the lane. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back everybody. So you've learned how to hook the ball. You've learned how to spin the ball as well as you can. Uh, and you're gonna continue to get better at that as you keep practicing it. But now, how do we create different ball rolls? Why is it that I can do that and I can play straighter, but then when I move left, my ball doesn't quite hook enough. It's still spinning a bunch. Well, a lot of that has to do with the way your hand releases the ball, where your axis is on it, what your axis tilt is. We're not really going to go into axis tilt or axis rotation per se. We'll go into rotation a little bit, which is what we're talking about here. And we're not going to go into tilt today. We'll go into tilt at a different time. But for this, all we want to do is we want to figure out where our hand can release the ball to create different types of spin to make the ball hook more. So for you, so say you're that person where you, uh, you have trouble playing further left because your ball roll is so straight. So you actually get your hand in the ball and you release the ball with the thumb going forward, straight just like this. When you release, your thumb is here and it just rolls forward. And so your ball goes straighter. It still hooks a little, but it goes straighter, kind of like this. See that? So then it kind of hooks and then just slows down and kind of goes straight through the lane. Now. If we were to do that from the inside part of the lane over here, which is where a lot of people struggle, that ball roll would never get the 10 out. That ball roll would never be able to go through the pins strong enough to knock down all the pins, or at least very rarely, unless you play a super tight closed angle through the front part of the lane. So if I wanna play over here in the left part of the lane, and I wanna be able to throw it right, if I release it straight like this again, it's going to go to the right and it's going to stop and it's going to hit the three pin or six pin right in the face. Just like that. So you've seen it curve a little bit, but it didn't make the corner. It didn't do what it needed to do to get back. So what are we going to do different? Well, we need to rotate our hand just a little bit and think of it like a clock. If our hand's at a clock, we'll call that, that was like an 11 o'clock release. And what I talk, when I'm talking about the clock, I mean where your thumb exits opposed to your finger. So if you're down at the bottom here, this is say, let's say my fingers are at six o'clock and my thumb's at 12, okay? That release was probably where my fingers are still at six, kinda, and my thumb releases at 11. So it's kinda like this here. So my thumb goes this way, okay? Now if I wanna get more side roll, obviously we gotta get our fingers more to the side and our thumb to the outside or to the inside here. So we gotta be able to release and get our thumb to point more towards like 10 o'clock or even nine o'clock to really get around it. Our hand stays to the inside until the very last minute and then we rotate our hand to where we want it to finish. That's the hard part. So if we think about it as a clock and where we wanna finish, literally visualize the clock and get our hand to finish in that area, we can make it happen more. So I'm gonna take that same ball and I'm gonna come inside here. And if I finished like this before, I'm gonna try and get my hand to finish more like this to get the ball to finish more down lane and curve more to the left, okay? See that one curve that much? So that one curves a whole lot more, gets all the way back off the right side. Obviously, if we pick up the ball speed, it's gonna get there or have a little bit more of a chance. This is just to visually let you see that the ball roll is different and it's more sideways to make it hook. I was almost worried that was gonna go in the gutter and I was gonna have to start this over somehow or do it again. But that one actually looked really good. You've seen it come off of the friction to the right, the dry parts of the line, and it hooked off of it and it continued going left. It didn't hook off of it and go straight towards the pins, okay? So if we put it in full motion, See, so that one hits the three pin right in the face. So what am I gonna do now? We're gonna talk do just like we said. That one finished at like 11 o'clock. Now we're gonna try to get the ball to finish more at like 10 o'clock or even nine o'clock to really get it to come around. And remember, I'm talking about where your thumb exits the ball. When you come through and you exit.
So the difference on the side roll, you see how the ball rolls a little bit to the side? That's what we're looking for. We're looking for our hand to rotate to the side just a little bit more to be able to get the ball to go through the pins. So what you might do when you go practice a little bit is go home, kind of play around with it. Play around with the clock, see where you can release the ball and get the ball to do different things from shot to shot. See if you can play the inside part of the lane and get your ball to hook more by getting your hand around it and see if you can play straighter on the, on the right side or for lefties, the left side of the lane and try to get the ball to go straighter and almost stop, get it to almost hook stop a little bit. Play around with it and let me know how it goes. Give us a comment here in the comments below. See if this works for you. If it works for you, let us know. If it doesn't, I guess let us know also and I'll try to make another one that maybe is a little bit easier to understand if this one isn't. So uh, I hope this helps you guys. Make sure to subscribe and comment and like below, um, and even head over to my channel, JR Raymond, and head over there, give that one a like. You'll see a little bit different content over there, um, but the most of the content's gonna be here at bowlerx.com. So make sure to head over to bowlerx.com, get all your bowling needs, use promo code JRX, and until next time, guys, we'll see you later.